Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about connecting computer to your television or any TV set basically. And so we're going to go through the steps of identifying what you have and what you will need to connect and then getting it all set up and working right. So the first step would be to identify the ports. So you're going to want to look at your computer, whether it be desktop or laptop, and identify what ports you have. And there are four kinds, VGA, which is what you see here. There's also DVI, DisplayPort, and... HDMI. If you need to, you can look up your user manual, look at the one that came with your computer, and you will be able to figure out what port you have from that. So once you know what port you have in your computer available for video out, then you're going to want to go to your television set that you are trying to connect to, and you're going to want to look at the ports on that. Once again, you can use the manual. A lot of times they're labeled, though, as you can see. This one's labeled as what port it is and everything. Then this has a VGA on the back of it, and an audio in, which you'll need to take for sound. For audio, most computers will just have a headphone jack. Some desktops may have sound cards and more advanced stuff, but you have to refer to manuals for how to output from that. Okay, so once you figure out what ports you're going to use on both things, then you're going to want to get the appropriate cord. See here I have a VGA to VGA cord. Since both of my components have VGA, if both your components do not have the same output or is a different output you want to use, you can get adapters. For example, this is a mini display port to VGA adapter for the Mac so I can connect it to the TV but you can get adapters for both operating systems all different computers, desktops, and cords you can even get cords that are the adapters so you just have to look up what you're looking for so once you have your cords and your adapters that will be required or if you just need a cord you're just going to take it and connect it to your ports okay so now you see I've made the connection from the TV straight to my computer and now for sound like I said, some people have a lot of different sound cards that will have different outputs, but for mine, I just use the headphone out jack, which mo almost all computers will have headphone out jacks, so that's probably your best bet. And you can get, if you wanted to just use a TV speakers, you can get a sound, um, just a regular cord like this that's 3.5 millimeter on both sides that'll connect to the TV. But if you use a external sound system, of, such as the surround sound system, you can just get a cord like this and it'll just be a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to whatever input you want to use on your receiver. So here we are, now I have my sound and my video output. Also a thing to note real quick, if you have HDMI, you c or I think, I think it's only HDMI that does it, but I know HDMI you can have audio and video through the same one cord, that's all you'll need if you have that output available to you. Alright, once we have them connected, you can power on both the computer and the TV and go to the selected input on the display. Now I'm going to select an input, and you see I'm getting no signal. So on the computer now, sometimes it might just come up, but if you get no signal, go to the Windows, and then you're going to Control Panel. And once you're in Control Panel, go to your Display Settings. And then I just go Change Display. So basically you need to get to Screen Resolution. So now there's a few more settings you can change around depending on what you want it to be like. So you can go to your resolution settings and you can change them. If I can get this in focus. Alright, you can change it to go higher, but for some reason when using the laptop or the TV, if I go up to the full resolution, even though it's a 1080p TV, it'll come up and it will mess up the it won't fit the screen. But some screens you'll be able to have to adjust it because sometimes it just doesn't work. And then you can change it to be portrait or lands or landscape flipped up, portrait flipped, different things like that. And this is probably the most useful one that people be using is you, instead of making both my monitors look exactly the same, I can extend the display so that just the TV or so the TV will be a second monitor, so I can have two different things going. Or I could just show the desktop on say only display two, so that it wouldn't be on the computer. If you're trying to display a movie or something, you won't have to have your laptop screen on, so the light won't come off, and you won't have to have it playing twice and other than that that should be all you need to get set up once again you just, after you identify your ports you need to get the right cords and adapters in order to connect and then once you're connected just verify go to your control panel display settings and I'm under screen resolution because it's Windows 7 that's where you have to go once you have it set up on both screens you can take advantage of using your TV monitor as a computer display that's all for this video I'll have some more videos on different display connections such as connecting to a projector and connecting Macs because it's a little bit different.
So make sure you subscribe for those. Yeah.